well, we're, uh, we've stopped at a shop. We've stopped at M&S on the way back. We are gonna pick up some dinner. Lucy has gone in. And I guarantee Code is gonna wake up. He's been having a little nap in the car. I think pizza is on the agenda this evening, which I'm very happy about. Okay, guys, it is the last day of the trip. It is the next day, and we've been greeted with some beautiful, look at that, beautiful blue skies here in Dorset. And we have packed up both cars. How good does the Range Rover look at this property? Really, really stunning Airbnb. Um, we used to be able to offer you guys discount on Airbnb. It was a program they run for anyone, not just YouTubers, um, but they stopped it. So I'm really sorry. We can't do that anymore. That was fun while it lasted. We used to get a little bit of credit as well for trips. So um, funding all the trips fully ourselves these days and yeah, it's a shame they got rid of that because we used to be able to help each other out on Airbnb, but never mind. Onwards towards home, we've got a few things we're doing on the way back. So we will vlog the rest of the trip. Hope you're enjoying this series of little road trip vlogs. A quick note for any car enthusiasts or people who like watching car videos, I am filming a ton of videos for more George, which is my other channel with the Range Rover. More car focused, so if that is your thing, please head over there and subscribe. I just thought I'd put, put a little mention in for myself there. Please subscribe, I'm trying to get to 20,000. Help me out. So, we've come to a witch town. We've come to a haunted town called Burley and we watched a YouTube video and a very informative YouTube video last night that was five minutes long and it taught us all about the history of the town and the witches and the ghouls and the ghosts and all that kind of paranormal kind of supernatural stuff. Um, I'm not sure if we'll see any witches today. Hopefully we do, fingers crossed. Um, ghost horse. There's a ghost horse as well that's underneath one of the buildings in the cellar. Um, so we're going to keep our eyes out for the ghost horse. Obviously we're in the new forest, there's horses everywhere. There's going to be some ghosts. Um, yes, yeah, so what is that in the back, George? What have you not secured? Um, potentially the coffee machine. Potentially the coffee machine, right. Um, okay, great. And in other news, um, something's gone wrong with my wisdom teeth. So if I sound like I've got a mouthful of something... A mouthful of peanut butter, that's why. It's kind of given me a lisp because the skin around where my wisdom tooth, it might be coming through, it's gone like really inflamed and swollen and it feels like I've got a tennis ball inside of my mouth. So that's great. Um, so apologies for my voice today. Oh, this is cute. Yeah. Oh, it's nice. I like witchcraft. Cool. I want to buy a witchcraft thing. I don't know. Uh, it's also Alex's birthday today, so we're going to uh, treat them to a nice breakfast this morning. Uh, I think we're going to somewhere called Noon. No, it's not called Noon, is it? What's it called? Non. Not non. Non. Noon. Oh, maybe it is Noon. N O O H N. Noon. But smelt. Smelt differently. See, I can't actually talk. Spelt differently. Um, yeah, see you when we get there. We have found the coolest little spot here. A tiny town, a little tiny sandwich little sandwich shop and coffee shop. Really good coffee, Holy Barista, of course. They do these little sandwiches I'm gonna tuck into now, which will fuel us up for the rest of the day. Well, at least until the next meal in a few hours. I was going to do a taste Very test, but I think I need to wait an hour for it to cool down. <laughs> wait a sec. So this is the kind of stuff that this town is known for. Witchcraft and wizardry. Yes. jumping in here quickly to tell you guys about the sponsor of today's video which is the we here app you guys know that george and i really enjoy books and we don't find that we put enough time into reading and consuming that kind of thing our go-to for some reason is like tv and netflix and that kind of thing if we've got spare time but we've tried to put a focus recently on changing that around a bit and reading more books listening to more books more audiobooks and we here is is perfect for that they have a wealth of audiobooks audio novels for you guys to browse through once you've had a baby i think you understand more that time is precious and there's not enough minutes in the day if for example i go for a walk with coda in the evenings i can do two things at once if i've got my audiobook in my is I'm walking on the seafront as well as getting coded some fresh air and me and me having some exercise so 
audiobooks are a way to really make the most out of a scenario, out of a situation. And I find it's actually an easier way to consume content because you don't have to just be doing the reading of the book. I really enjoy listening to it. And if you're totally new to audiobooks, We Here could be a nice start for you. Another good thing with audiobooks is say, for example, you have a daily commute to work. You drive to a place of work and you drive home from a place of work twice a day. That's a lot of time. You might be listening to the radio. You might just be enjoying the peace and quiet. You could listen to an audiobook on the way to work. You could listen when you're cooking dinner in the evening. Or maybe you're just bored at home and you've got half an hour free and you think, I'm going to do something fun here. Maybe you're in the bath, maybe you're painting your nails, I don't know what it is. And there's also a ton of different genres with We Here. So there's things like romantic, fantasy, paranormal, and then loads of classics as well. And the other great thing is they've got a lot of exclusive books as well. So if you wanted to go and have a little browse, we're going to pop a link below underneath this video today. Some top books that we've been recommended to try are The Human in the Wolf Pack, The Unloved Mate, and Bear Cursed. So there's three that you guys can go and try out to begin with. But like I said, there is going to be a link below where you can go and download the app and get some free coins with our coupon. So when you download the app, you will actually be able to choose your gender if you choose to, and you might get a better selection. And it straight away recommends a book to you. So you can try this one out, listen to a couple of lines, and if you want something different, obviously you can go ahead and look through the library. There are a ton of different stories by all different authors, all different voiceovers with these as well. So there is the For You page, which recommends books that you may be interested in. Also a cool feature here, subtitle. If you like reading um, and you don't just want the audio, you can actually read along with the audiobook, this might be relaxing in bed just before you go to sleep. So as Lucy said, please do go and check this one out. We hope there is something on there for everyone listening. Different styles and genres, as Lucy mentioned as well. So make sure you go and check that out if you're interested. And let me know in the comments, do you guys read books? Do you guys listen to books? Is it something that you want to do more of this year? And if you already are an audiobook listener, when are you listening? When in the day? For me, my like I said before, my, my ultimate time is seafront walk, Coda on the baby carrier with me, listening to my book. And it's just such a nice bit of me time. And I really, really love them moments. So thank you so much to We Here for sponsoring today's video. And we hope you enjoy the rest of today's vlog. <laughs> Callum forgot his camera. <laughs> in the car somewhere. Wow, we've come out on probably, the, I think this is the last walk of the trip, sadly, but we're going to enjoy it and make the most of it. The rain has stopped. I'm currently walking across a little bridge. So nice. Lisa and I were saying, bridge. what's it called, sorry? Puttles Bridge. Puttles bridge. Yeah. Okay. You guys have been here a lot, haven't you? Yeah, we've been yeah. here. A lot, yeah. One of your favourite places. We love the new forest. Nice. It's like, it's so beautiful here, isn't yeah, it? So 100%. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, it's stunning. We've really been enjoying it. Even the driving through... No, that's a swing. That's supposed to be a little swing. Behind the blue one. Shall I? Yeah. Could do. 100%. Not sure. Not sure. <laughs> Yeah, we've had the best time here. Um, New Forest is lovely and we're lucky that the rain stopped for our final little walk. And I'm getting to try out my new walking boots Friday. for the very first time. Do you want to say to everyone what happened with your walking boots? Yeah, I left them outside. Left so them in the rain I, the I first day. I didn't have to dry them. them once. No, yeah. bought them for this trip. Yeah, bought them once. But now we are giving them a good go. And yours as well? Mine have actually been worn in though. Got yeah. some mud on them. Okay, I'll code is awake. Hello. <laughs> They're all hiding from me. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did, you, did you not know where we were? Did you, did you know that we were there? Sorry, you guys were here. As soon as I went up the bridge. In a, lush, a rubbish line. Yeah. Well, all of us are standing in a line, like waiting. Like. I didn't know you were all here. I saw you. I saw the blue it was over there. Oh no! Gave it away. It really did. Gave it away. Oh, they walked over there. <laughs> yeah. Currently sheltering from the rain, which uh, the tree's doing quite a good job actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah. had umbrellas, left them in the car. We were walking about 30 Cross. seconds and we stopped. So. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, well. going well. <laughs> we found a 
a very cool, <laughs> we found a very cool opening here, which is beautiful. It's just lovely. There's wild horses walking very around. Very new foresty, isn't it? Very new it's foresty. Yeah, yeah, yeah it. definitely. It's like the brushiness. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> nice. Definitely. Okay, we're just coming closer to some wild horses, which you don't get as much near where we live. So we've had to come out to see this. Wow, there's so many. And these guys were telling us they saw a horse stampede one time. Did. That must yeah. have been across, literally. Mental. It was crazy, like Mental. hundreds of horses and like you could feel like the vibration through yeah. the ground. It's just, yeah. Powerful yeah. stuff. We were a bit scared. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. would have been yeah. as well, definitely. So there's not as many here today, but still, yeah. So nice to watch. Okay, hey guys, we are now home. The drive back was good. It's actually a couple of days later I'm filming this. We realized we didn't actually outro the video. Coda's here. Hello. Hello. Good boy. And we are enjoying our morning. We're actually vlogging today, so come back on the channel. There's gonna be a new vlog very, very soon. But yeah, when we got back, the car was so loaded, so full that it was also raining. So I was just like in the rain, getting all the bags in, and then we had to reset everything, get all the washing on, etc., etc. We didn't film an outro to the vlog because we did all that and then we went straight to bed and we have had the busiest couple of days. So I wanted to thank you all for watching and wanted to say we did have a great trip. That last town that we went through was spooky. That was, um, Lucy mentioned that we watched a video on YouTube about Burley and yeah, we were reading more about it and there's all these ghost stories, all these stories of things happening and comment below if you believe in that kind of stuff because I'm, I'm a person who thinks the fact that we are here in the first place, the fact that we're spinning on a rock in space in the universe that's mental in itself that's like the highest level of mental you can ever get so if that's possible then of course anything else a human could think of is probably possible so i'm not going to say no way it doesn't exist not real um because how do i know i don't have a clue i'm just here i'm just a human on a planet in the universe i don't i don't know so i'm not going to say for sure no because i have i wouldn't have a clue that's kind of my own personal take on life and things. So yeah, comment below if that if you're into that kind of thing. People also love it. There was people in the shops buying kind of like witch outfits and they, they were selling witch hats and all this kind of uh, mystical, magical stuff, which this town is known for. But when, you, when you're in your Airbnb the night before at about midnight, watching ghost videos and listening to ghost stories on YouTube, and then you go to the town the next day, um, yeah, we were... We we're quite happy to leave, put it that way. We um, didn't actually spend that long in that town. We walked around and then we got out. It did have a bit, and then it started raining just as we were entering that town, which was kind of creepy. It did have a bit of an eerie feeling, so we really didn't stay that long. And we got out of there and we hit the road. But yes, another great trip with our friends and planning the next one very, very soon. And ended up being three parts. We said at the beginning of vlogging this trip, we were gonna do it uh, quite laid back, just film, pick up the camera when we were doing cool stuff and having fun and ended up getting three whole vlogs out of it. So I hope you enjoyed this little three-parter. Please come back to the channel again soon. We are so, so, so grateful for all you guys watching these UK vlogs, the road trips, the traveling, just when we're at home. Uh, you guys don't know how much it means to us. It genuinely means the world to know that you wanna watch us and follow our journey. And we do not ever take that for granted. So if you're watching still at this stage at the end of the vlog, then a huge thank you to you. Please leave a comment, say hi. Been seeing a load of silent viewers who are coming up to the comments and saying hello and we're replying to a ton of them as well. So if you've never commented, please comment and we will try and reply. I'll give you a little heart. But yeah, that's it from me. That's it from Coda today. And we'll see you in another vlog very, very soon. Bye.